Yeah, children. So in organic compounds, in organic compounds, today we are going to discuss the differences between alcohols and carboxylic acids. Alcohols and carboxylic acids. Differences we will teach. What are the differences? Children, differences we can different. We can change into. We can differentiate into physical and chemical differences. There are two types of differences. You know, physical and chemical differences. What are they? Children, physically, alcohols. See, children, carboxylic acids means acids. We know from acids and bases lesson that acids turn blue litmus to red litmus because they are acids. So it's the primary property of acid. You all. But whereas alcohols, they do not show any change. They do not show any change. Means no effect on litmus. No effect on litmus. Number one. Number two, children. If you taste carboxylic acids, because they are acids, they are so in taste. They are so in the mouth. Okay. Whereas alcohols, children, they are a bit fungi. Fungi. Don't say it, children, because they are bases again. They are not bases. They are not bases, children. Alcohols are not bases. Fungi. Okay. okay. Next, carboxylic acids conduct electricity. Why? Why acids conduct electricity? Because they decompose into ions. CH3. Complete. No more H is there. When they decompose, they will get H plus and minus. Because ions are present, carboxylic acids conduct electricity. Whereas alcohols do not conduct electricity. Because why they do not conduct electricity? Because they will ask you an example. Why alcohols do not conduct electricity? Why alcohols do not conduct electricity? Why means alcohols are carbon compounds. Alcohols are carbon compounds. All carbon compounds undergo which bonding? Anyone? Which bonding? Covalent bonding. Covalent bonding. Covalent bonding don't have charges. Covalent bonding don't have charges. When they don't have charges, they do not conduct current. They do not conduct current. Okay, then you will get the sir. Carboxylic acids are also covalent. Are very composed only, sir. Then they should also have the covalent bond. Then why they are connecting the electricity? Because here partial charges you will get, children. They are called polar covalent bonds. Partial charge. That charge also is enough for connection of current, children. That much dissociation also alcohols do not undergo. These are physical. Physical means by touch or by seeing we can differentiate alcohols and carboxylic acids like this. What the function group of alcohols? Anyone? O H. O H. What is the function group of carboxylic acids? O H. O H. What is the uh, suffix of carboxylic acids? O O H acid. What is the suffix of alcohols? O L. O L. What is the uh, what is the uh, general form of alcohol? C N. H two N. Two N plus N. What is the general form of carboxylic acid? C N minus one. C N minus, minus one. one two C N minus one C O H. C O H. Okay, children. So, children, they do not show any. Uh, they do not show any change in effect on litmus. Children, here blue litmus changes to red litmus, and they are so in this. They are conduct in this. They conduct electricity. They do not conduct electricity. These are physical differences. Physical. What are the chemical differences? The chemical differences are. What are the chemical differences? Means very very important. Only one chemical difference is there. Carboxylic acids react with. Carbonates and bicarbonates to liberate, to liberate, to liberate carbon dioxide gas. Whereas alcohols don't react with carbonates or bicarbonates. Okay, children, shall I show you some examples? I will show you some examples how they react with carbonates. So can you repeat? So can you repeat? Which? Yeah, yeah. So I will I will uh, give the example to the children. Carboxylic acids, carboxylic acids react with carbonates and bicarbonates. What are carbonates and bicarbonates? I'll show you children. See here. I will show you. All of you see here children. Carboxylic acids react with carbonates and bicarbonates. How they react? All of you see here children. I'll show you. Carboxylic acids children they react with carbonates and bicarbonates and liberates carbon dioxide. But alcohols don't react to them. But both of them will be reacting to metals to liberate hydrogen gas. That we studied the action of carboxylic acids. Is a whole CH3PO. It can be 
can react with NADCH and form CH3, CO4, NADH, H2O, sodium dioxide solution plus H2O plus CO2. Okay, suppose same CH3, CO4, just the gas will be there. Suppose it reacts with sodium bicarbonate also, NADCH3. Sodium is coming, H2O. What is the action? CH3, CO4, NADH plus H2O. Plus the CO2 gas. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Acid is, carboxylic acid can react with carbonates and bicarbonates. To liberate carbonates and gas. To liberate carbonates and gas. Okay, children. So, carboxylic acids, that's what I'm saying. They react with carbonates and bicarbonates. To liberate carbonates and gas. Any carboxylic acid. We study for children. Acids plus metal gives what? Salt plus hydrogen. Acid plus base gives what? Salt plus water. Acid plus carbonate gives what? Salt plus hydrogen plus carbon dioxide. Acid plus bicarbonate gives salt plus water plus carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. So children, we have studied all these reactions. In that reaction, children, we have studied. Can react with carbonates and bicarbonates to liberate carbonates and gas. How do this carbon dioxide is of lime water? Milk. Whereas alcohols, they don't react with carbonates and bicarbonates. They can react with metals. Alcohols can react with metals. Carboxylic acids also can react with metals to liberate hydrogen gas. The only differentiating point between alcohols and carboxylic acids is they react with carbonates to liberate carbon dioxide and bicarbonates also to liberate carbon dioxide. These are the four important differences of alcohols and carboxylic acids. First one, no effect on lipids, pungent, do not conduct diversity, do not react with carbonates and bicarbonates. You have to remember this biology. And carboxylic acids, they can't do lipids to get lipids because it is an acid. And they are so related. They conduct electricity because they have ions. They have to see, they conduct electricity because they have ions. And they react with carbonates. And by carbon, it's liberate what gets carbon dioxide. Yes. How do you get carbon dioxide again? It's just lemon water. Yes. This so what does liberate? What ma? What? So what is the meaning of liberate?